so welcome back. Um, I think this weekend what I'm going to do is I'm going to tackle the wheels. As you see, I got the tires taken off. I went to a, a tire place up here in Contarf and uh, um, Pat Clifford, and he was very kind to um, take the tires off for me. It saved me a lot of time and a lot of hassle up here trying to do it. So that was a kind of a time saver. I was originally going to do the custom tray. So I was going to bend some of the stuff and do a custom tray. But um, my metal got cancelled. The order for my metal got cancelled. It turns out that they don't have anything in stock. Uh, it seems to be that they're selling out of everything at the moment. So um, this was just a piece of tray that I have. It's kind of an industrial cable tray um, that I thought I could use, which is fine, but it's just not enough room for what I need. So um, I'm going to have to put that aside and tackle that another day. Um, I was going to get these powder coated. But um, they weren't going to match my paint exactly to what I'm looking for. Um, so I know, you know, color black is color black, but there's loads of shades of black color. So um, I think I'd be better off painting them myself, lacquering them myself, and, uh, and at least I know that the, the color match is perfect to the tank. So, so that's what I'm going to do. As you can see, this one's actually really good. Um, there's only a few little places where the paint is bubbling up there's this the only kind of place where the paint chipped it's not even the, the rim itself it's just paint and uh, this one is in a bit worse of a state as you see it's weathered quite weathered here and look it's chipping quite a lot as you can see there it's obviously been sitting out for a very long time as you see there it is so what i'll do is i'll put this in my cabinet and the paint should just come off i'll blast this and uh, it'll be nice and smooth and I'll, I'll get it painted as you see look it's just coming off so yeah so look let me do that uh, and I can paint that then with the tank so I'll get these primed and I can paint the wheels and the tank all in one go and then the only thing that will be left would be the subframe once I've finished all my my kind of the making of the tray and stuff like that for under the seat so so that'll be next then um, and then I can get into the engine so um once I have all this aesthetic stuff done. So yeah, okay, let's let's get on with the wheels. All right, so as you can see, I've uh, I've shot them in the in the cabinet. So most of the paint is off it. There's little little bits, but they're nice and flat, so they won't they won't bother me in any way. Um, one thing you will always notice about these wheels is they never have any weights on them. Um, from balancing, or rarely they'll have they'll have weights on them. Um, it's because most most balancing machines can't balance these wheels because they're that single swing arm so you need probably a special adapter for them uh, which most uh, most bike shops don't actually have so uh, I have two wheels there none of them have weights on them so um, either that or they're 100% perfect and straight which I doubt it um, so yeah so mind that when you get new new tires so I've ordered the tires and um, they'll be here in the next couple of days and um, and I'm, I'm going to just shoot them now. I've, uh, I've wiped them down. I took thinners and I've just wiped them down clean. So there, there's no particles or anything else. I'll do them one more time before, before I paint them. And uh, yeah, I think while you have one last one, you'll notice this kind of crap. So that's way I can describe it. That's from those uh, get me home kits. You know that you spray in. It's basically glue, liquid glue that you spray in. They've no impact on, on the actual uh, bike itself, but as you can see, that's that's kind of the effect they have. So once you put that in, you might, might as well change the tire. The whole inside of the tire is wrecked. So yeah, okay. So look, um, I'll shoot them now and let's see what they what it looks like. I'm gonna go with my uh, my uh, same primer as I did on the tank because there's so much metal, the edge primer. Um, I'm gonna have to leave for 24 hours to dry. All those solvents have to evaporate and also has to harden um, and etch to the metal so uh, adhere to the metal so that's kind of um, you know i wouldn't go straight shooting the color straight after that immediately because um, it's water-based stuff so you'll end up with little little reactions and stuff so uh, better off let it dry off very well and then you'll have no no issues at all so okay oh valve i have to take the valve out but that's it and um, oh yeah and i've removed all the bearings and stuff out of that 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 first wheel and um, and I'll, I'll just order new ones as well so all right so as you can see I've um, 
I've painted both wheels, um, well, they're not painted, they're, uh, they're just primed. Um, I'm happy, happy enough. They're not, they're not 100%, there is some little dints and stuff taken out of them, but, I mean, they are 30 something years old, so, you can expect that they've, they've had some history. Um, yeah, so next that, I'll, I'll, I'll shoot the colour. Alright, so as you can see, I've, um, I've started painting the wheels. Um, I had a couple of false starts with the gum, and uh, my regular just wasn't, wasn't right, so I was spitting a little bit. So, what I've done is, I've, um, I've sanded it back down again, just flattened the back down, and I'm going to shoot it again now that I'm happy with the, the, the setup of the gum. Um, it's a bit of a, a waste, but, but this bike is all about the back wheel, so it has to look right. Um, I've also shot the tank, and there was a small little... Um, problem with the paint originally I had originally asked for two pack I was told that two pack wasn't available in this color so I was told that the, the paint was actually uh, water based so when I shot it I was expecting it to dry and then it never dried because it had no hardener in it because it was two pack paint so that's fine uh, two pack is actually exactly what I wanted originally because it's real hard wearing and it's it's solid paint um, so I'm ha I'm happy about the the fact that I have two pack. I just didn't know I had it. That that's all. And there was that much films in the in the room that I couldn't I couldn't tell what what was what. So yeah. So there's the two wheels. As you can see, the right one I flattened. I'll do the same with the left one, and then I'll shoot them again. But uh, yeah, they're looking they're looking good. Um, so I'm happy with that. And I'll show you just the tank. So as you can see, there's the tank. Um, same thing. I've just flattened it back up again. Like I said, the 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 regulator was just um, a little all over the place, so it was spitting every now and then. So, um, so that was the issue. But like I said, I, I got it. I managed to get it fixed on the tank. So, um, I just just quick ten minute and it'll be done. Yeah. So there's the tank. This that's that's the color. Uh, obviously, it's not lacquered, so it's kind of matte. Um, so once I lacquer it, it'll, it'll be grand, but uh, yeah, let's do it again. Alright, so uh, I sprayed the wheels and the tank. Last year I need to decide where to put the, the Honda sticker. So what I'll do is I'll chop these in half and I'll find a nice um, position for them. Put them on and then I can shoot the clear. Um, the wheels have actually turned out really well. I was expecting... Uh, a lot worse considering um, the amount of hours that it took to actually blast them. Um, there's there's quite a few dings in the wheels themselves. Uh, you know, they're just a age related really than anything else. There's no damage as such, but just some age related stuff. So, but that's what they look like now before I, I shoot the clear. So I'll chop these in half and find a nice position on the tank. All right, so I put the tank back on the bike just purely because. Um, I unless unless I put it back on the bike, I won't know what angle the, the the tank is in, so the sticker could end up being crooked like this. So I got the tank back on the bike, so I know I know where the level is, and this is what I'm thinking about here where this ends, the A ends, so somewhere around there. The back should peel off and. The other end of the sticker should stay on. But these are obviously not genuine stickers. Back doesn't peel off as nice there. Okay, I'll do the other side. I'll get the, the whole tank a little wipe. Just a little bad boy. I'm 
it's actually I hit the clear. It should be okay. Well, I think that looks good. Um, I just have to flip the bike around and do the other side. Same kind of middle and in line with that. Um, I mean, they don't have to be 100%. You're never going to see the two sides at the same time. So, um, but pretty close is good enough. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, I've painted the wheels and I've painted the tank. Um, you can kind of see why I like this color. This uh, Honda black is a real solid black. Um, I think it's real retro looking, so um, that's why I've gone with this NH1 um, color. I actually like the size of the sticker. I think it's um, it was perfect. Um, it's kind of wasn't original, but uh, it seems good quality. Uh, I didn't uh, I didn't like the original ones. They were a little bit too small for for what I was looking for, and um, yeah. And anyway, these hopefully now these are UV rated, so so they don't start fading in the sun and, and things like that. So I lacquered over them. Now the the paint job you can see there's small little spectacles. I'll um, I can uh, I'm gonna sand this down anyway, and I'm gonna buff it afterwards. So. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too concerned there's little like the paint is not 100% flat so you have to flatten it afterwards anyway with a bit of sand, sandpaper and uh, uh, and a buffer but uh, I won't do that until it's on the bike itself otherwise the tank will be moving on me and the, each time I move this tank I'm gonna end up denting it somewhere or you know so it's, it's inevitable after you paint something every time you move it you mark it so um, I'll try and mount it on the bike and then I'll buff it I, I think that's a that's a better way of going at it. Um yeah, I got the I got the wheel sprayed as well. I can't show you them at the moment because they're um well, I'll show you what they look like at the moment. As you can see they're drying um the lacquer's kind of still soft so I can't actually take them off and put them on the table. But that's um that's what they look like. They've actually turned out great. Um again there's a few small little spectacles and there's one little run of, of lacquer but look that that's gonna happen the wheels are so intricate to paint you know in the grooves and stuff that you will get that kind of stuff so anyway they've turned out well so uh yeah and i got the tires as well um i'll show you the tires now in a second they're um they're pretty cool and they're right on the money so so here's the tires like i said they're um they're st they're angels st you can see they have a little little angel there look you can see that's upside down with there's the little halo the little eyes and stuff so they're, they're, they're upside down with their angel anyway i've gone with a 160 on the back and a 120 on the front now i do know that the the, the proper fitment for this should be 150 on the back and 110 and um, biggest issue with this bike is the front wheel the front wheel is a 17 inch wheel um on the product one and the choice of tires is very limited so if you're going with a 110 on the front, 17, 17, 110, there's a, there's a handful of manufacturers that actually manufacture that front tire. So you can't get anything cool. I, I was hoping for kind of something more uh, retro, but my God, can you not find it? I could find everything for the back tire, no problem. The 150, that was no issue. But the back, the, the front tire, absolute nightmare. I couldn't source the tire. Um, so instead I've gone with this. Like I said, the, the price point was the biggest reason why i bought this tire uh, i've had pirellis before never had an issue with them um it seems pretty soft i mean i i know these are uh, touring tires so they'll be a little bit harder than than a race tire or anything else like that but uh, they're still pretty soft i'd say they'd be nice and sticky um i can't imagine having any issues with them but at 185 for both of them shipped it's a real no-brainer so um uh, yeah they're the tires anyway so um i'm looking forward to putting them on the on the on the wheels and getting this uh this bike assembled so i need just need to get the order some bearings and uh i'll be ready to go